Hey, happening today and for the next couple of days too, the biggest meteor shower uh, this year is going to light up the night sky. Excited about this. And it's going to be even easier to see it with the naked eye tonight. Jamie is uh, joining us live from Gilbert Rotary Centennial Observatory yes. with how you can see it. Hey there, Jamie. Hey, good morning, guys. So here at the observatory, they have this giant telescope. This would give you a pretty awesome view of that. Or, you know, maybe you could use a pair of binoculars. But because this meteor shower is going to move so quickly through the sky, I am told that seeing it with your own eyes is going to be the best way to go. So we are talking about the Perseid meteor shower. You've been able to see it on and off throughout the month of August. These are photos of it sent to us from an ABC 15 viewer. But tonight at midnight until the sun rises, that is when it will put on the biggest show. Peter Turner with the Phoenix Astronomical Society says you could see up to 200 little flashes of light an hour. Some of those flashes will streak across the sky and explode. He says look to the north northeast and the darker your location the better best just to use your eyes sit in like a lounge chair and lie back and just look northeast after midnight and up until about 6 a.m. will be the best time I normally do it between 12 and 2 Okay, so you heard, uh, uh, you heard him there give us those hours of when you could best see it. So that means you'd either have to be prepared to stay up really late or maybe wake up uh, really early depending on your bedtime. Us here on the morning show probably just wake up really early before we come into our shift tomorrow, right? Uh, but you may be wondering more about this observatory. It is so cool, Allison. I didn't even know that this was here in Gilbert. Uh, if you want to learn more about what they have to offer here, we will go over that coming up in our next half hour. Yeah, Jamie, that is so neat. We have so many places across the valley, but also the state that are that are those designated dark sky areas uh, for you to be able to stargaze. I mean, we have some of the best viewing and if you can afford a telescope, uh, that is a good way to go. But the binoculars and your, you know, what nature gave you will work right tonight. We can look with our own eyes. Thank you so much, Jamie. We're going to check back in with you in just a little bit. Can't wait for that. I'm a stargazer. Hey.